So, what's the one thing that you can control to determine whether you stay busy at work, uh, whether you keep customers coming, continue to have a job? There's one, there's one thing that uh, is well within your control that you can do. So, uh, I've been thinking about this for a long time and actually, uh, despite the economy and people telling me things like, oh, it's slow and there's no work out there and I can't find a job and I need, you know, you know I need help, you know, finding a job or I gotta look for something else. Uh, whether you're a contractor or an electrician, uh, in fact, this doesn't even apply to electrical work or, or skilled work. This is just any trade or field or, you know, any employee in general. And it has nothing to do with skill whatsoever. Um, but I do see a lot of uh, contractors who um, I speak with regularly, as well as electricians, uh, general contractors, handymen, carpenters, people just ask for general advice and things like that. And uh, as what I hear all the time is, you know, the economy, it's slow. It's, you know, I can't find work and work's tough. And, you know, I got, you know, one job here and one job there, but I'm not busy and things like that. Or I've seen a lot of contractors come and go. I've seen a lot of electricians come and go, come into the trade and then they leave the trade for, you know, find another job. Or the contractors that uh, I used to see quite often that I don't any longer see or that I see very infrequently, once a month, or once every six months, or something like this. And over the years, I've noticed something um, about two different groups of people. And one group is those that I don't see any longer, uh, or that I see very infrequently, and those that I still see quite frequently. In fact, uh, those that I see every day and that I talk to every day. And there's a huge difference between them. I've noticed this across the board with both groups, and, uh, the, the group of uh, people that I no longer see regularly or at all uh, fit into the category of those that uh, were always grouchy, uh, always trying to squeeze a deal, always trying to be pushy, always trying to be in a rush, uh, always uh, only concerned about uh, themselves, uh, not about um, other people or work or even their trade or craftsmanship. Uh, they just want to deal. Uh, they want to get it done fast and cheap, and they are in a hurry. And they, they're, these are the type of people that are looking uh, for inexpensive ways to get around something or do something, you know, kind of sneaky or halfway or rig something. Uh, these are the people who uh, basically there's, they are hard, having a hard time finding work. Uh, on the other hand, the, the group of uh, people, the contractors and tradesmen that I see quite often have this one trait uh, and it's across the board. And the one trait is that they have a good attitude. Uh, and that is just with the individual uh, professionals that I interact with every day as well as contractors. Um, you know, uh, the ones that I talk to often, they, you know, they're always welcoming and friendly and they are just smiling and they're always just, you know, they always take a second to say hi and just kind of jibber jabber about, you know, how things are going for them and how work is great for them. Uh, and as far as uh, electricians, you know, these are guys that are, they are already working. They don't need to find a job because they have a job or they have multiple offers for other jobs. And uh, I've seen this often. And so these are the guys that, uh, are staying busy you know they don't need to look for work because work comes to them and it all comes down to just that one thing attitude good attitude or bad attitude bad attitude are the type of people that are always going to be looking for work uh, they're always going to uh, you know kind of be jumping around jobs or looking for another employer or looking for another customer and all the guys all the people that I see that have a good attitude they always have work uh, or jobs or opportunities are coming to them all because they have a good attitude. And so regardless of your skill level or how much experience you have or how many years in or you know what school you went to or whatever, none of that matters more than just having a good attitude. So hope that puts some perspective on things and I hope that helps you actually. So uh, just keep a good attitude and have a good day.